Hey folks, Brent 928 here. Going to give one of my uh, desktop reviews here of my of some firearms that I have. Uh, been kind of out out of the loop for a while. I had some foot surgery, and I'm trying to get caught up on things. So please bear with me. Today we're going to talk about um, shotguns. This is my Mossberg 590 special purpose shotgun. Um, it's uh, it clear, just so anybody knows. Uh, it's uh, uh, the special purpose is basically this is civilian version of the uh, Mossberg uh, 590A1 that the military uses. Uh, the only real differences that you can tell, obviously, this isn't packerized; it's blued, which I kind of like. It's kind of an old school kind of look to it. But it also has uh, the military version has a heavier barrel. And it also has a metal trigger guard. I believe it's made out of aluminum. I'm thinking about maybe upgrading this to that at some point in the future. But, you know, it's synthetic. It seems pretty solid. I guess we'll, we'll see how it holds up. Uh, synthetic stocks, just stock and forearm, just like uh, the military version. Um, it also has this um, heat shield for the barrel. I guess that's, you know, it's a, kind of reminiscent of the old uh, World War I trench guns that... Um, the military used basically to protect the hand. If anybody's hand ever laid on the barrel, it wouldn't burn your hand from repeated firings because barrels do get kind of hot, as most of us know. Um, not sure the application here uh, for a home defense weapon, but but it does kind of give it that ominous old school kind of look, which I kind of like. So, um, a couple other features of the uh, Mossberg that I like. Um, and they really stand out when you compare them next to a, a, a Remington 870. Uh, uh, let's talk safety. Uh, on the Mossberg, you have a, a safety right here, which is great, unless you're using a pistol grip, which I'll never use a pistol grip. I, I think they're kind of a waste, and unless I'm filming a Hollywood movie, I, don't, I think they're totally unnecessary. I, have no, I don't understand why people use pistol grips unless it's a shortened barrel. It just kind of defeats the purpose, in my opinion. You, I mean, if you really want to shoot from the hip, you can do it just fine with with uh, with the stock, and I think it actually provides more control. If you're looking to to shoot, I think that um, the standard stock will allow you more repeatability to get your uh, rounds on target. Um, pistol grips, like I said, that's Hollywood to me. Plus, it has a it kind of throws you off on this. It, the pistol grip kind of defeats the purpose. If you're holding your holding the Mossberg down here like this, defeats you can't you have to actually let off the hand grip to the pistol grip to get to engage the safety. Not a good idea. So for me, this is it. Also, the pistol grip also won't let you engage the slide slide release, which is located right here on the Mossbergs. But in this case right here, with a with a standard uh, stock. I can actually engage that with just my finger, right there, my middle finger, and uh, I don't ever have to take my take the rifle away from my cheek. I can always keep my sight acquisition. I can engage and disengage the safety as well. I can rack the slide without ever taking the butt off my shoulder. Can't do that with a with a with the Remington 870. The 870. To engage the safety, it's on the trigger guard. You have to constantly, you have to look down here to be sure you're in safe mode. You have to actually take your eyes off your side alignment to look to make sure you're in safe safe mode. Likewise, the slide release on the on the rip, uh, is back here. On the 870, it's up here. Again, even if you left it up your shoulder, you have to reach around to grab that to work the, slide, the action. You'd have to work around. Uh, get on the front side of the trigger guard to engage that. Not sure that's a good idea. I think the Mossberg allows you to stay um, sighted in a lot easier, and uh, I just think it's better all around in that in that regard. I mean, just uh, the 870 is still a great firearm. Don't get me wrong, but um, for home defense, I think this is actually brilliant the way they have this laid out. Um, also, on the back here, you'll notice there's some drilled and tapped. Uh, um, uh, holes in the back of the, the receiver here. That's in case I ever wanted to add optics or something like that. I don't see me doing that because this is that would defeat the purpose of what I bought this this uh, shotgun for. But if I ever wanted to put like a scope or you know maybe some 
a red dot sight or something like that on there, I'm all set up. Or, or a rail for flashlights or something, who knows. Um, other than that, it's a brilliant shotgun. It's kind of light. Uh, it has the extended tube, tube magazine, so this will hold eight, mag eight rounds in the magazine. Eight rounds. Plus, you can put one in the chamber. So this is a, this is a true uh, eight plus one shotgun. So you could load this thing up and not worry about running out of ammo ever, pretty much. Um, if you need more ammo than that, then maybe you need to look at other weapons. I don't know, but um, this should take care of just about anything that uh, for for home defense. If you're really worried about it, you can always add saddle mag holders and stuff like that that'll hold extra you know um, shotgun shells on the side here on the side of the receiver but I don't I think with eight plus one I think I'm pretty much well set another feature that I like about about the uh, Mossberg that the 870 doesn't have is the ability to take a, a bayonet this is an old um, M7 bayonet Commonly seen back in the, the 60s and 70s, Vietnam era, very common on M16s and A1s like I had when I was in the Marine Corps. Um, but uh, it's kind of cool because it just uh, fixes right on there, just like that. Presto changeo. Kind of intimidating. Actually, I don't like this bayonet, but I'm probably going to get one of the newer ones, the M9s. They have a little bigger blade. Uh, kind of looks like a uh, Marine Corps fighting knife, uh, the K-Bar on steroids. Um, but uh, that's, that's probably going to be the replacement for this old M M M7, uh, mag, uh, excuse me, M7 bayonet. But that would probably definitely put the fear of God in somebody trying to invade your territory, at least the way I look at it. Anyway, there you have it. Mossberg 590. Uh, special purpose. It's a good shotgun. Can't wait to take it out and test fire it. Take care. I'll, uh, I'll do a range report when I get done with that. Take care. Bye.